is going on? Welcome to the channel. We're going to be crossing the Delaware Memorial Bridge here on FSD. This is going to be uh, Tesla's latest self-driving software. Right now I'm running 11.4.7. Uh, so here we go. Um, we are approaching the bridge now. Looks like they got these left lanes closed down uh, with some cones up. So it looks like FSD is reading that. And here we go. So hopefully no takeovers. And it's a, hopefully it's a smooth ride across the bridge. Sometimes bridges can give me kind of a, <laughs> a little jitters. It depends. But, you know, this time I don't have to drive, actually. I'm co-piloting. I got FSD on. So here we go. We're officially on the bridge. We're going to try to stay in this lane and maintain our flow of traffic. I, I've got it set to... Um, let's actually check it out. So I, I got it on average and I got minimal lane changes highlighted because I'm on the bridge. I don't like changing lanes like unless I want to change lanes because FSD will just change lanes when it deems necessary. But yeah, um, let me know what you think. It's a pretty cloudy day out here going across the bridge right now. Very smooth drive, nonetheless. Let me know if you would use FSD or an autopilot software to drive for you across any bridge. Or would you want to just do it yourself? Or do you think it's uh, something that you would take advantage of being able to sit back and relax? And would you be relaxed? That's the question. <laughs> Wow, okay, so we got some nice visibility coming up here towards the end of the bridge. That was pretty fun. To me, it feels like a, like a train ride almost, because I'm not in control here. As you can see, no pedals, no steering, and FSD definitely handled the bridge. I mean, I didn't give it any crazy like lane changes last second, because I wanted it to be a really smooth ride, but yeah hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe for more thanks again have a great day